गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास आई होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ राइटिंग सब्ट्रैक्शन दैट इज वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल सब्ट्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट स्टोरी सम्स ऑन सब्ट्रैक्शन लेट स्टार्ट द क्लास लेट्स रिवाइज द सब्ट्रैक्शन फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट्स सब्ट्रैक्शन मीन्स टू टेक अवे और टू रिमूव it is represented by minus sign the number always decreases or become less than the previous number like addition subtraction is also written in two ways horizontal subtraction and vertical subtraction in horizontal subtraction we write the number in slipping line order right we write the numbers in sleeping line order as you can see here the numbers are written in sleeping line order in vertical subtraction we write the numbers in standing line order right so this is vertical subtraction and this is horizontal subtraction for example 5 minus 2 students here you can see the numbers are written in sleeping line order numbers are written in sleeping line order so this is a horizontal way of writing subtraction fine so let's subtract them now we have to subtract 2 from 5 right 5 minus 2 so how we will do it we will do it on fingers yes you will open your five fingers then we have to subtract 2 so you will close two fingers right close your two fingers now how many fingers are open now yes 3 so the answer is 3 so you will write 3 here let's take one more example let's take one more example students now we will subtract 7 minus 3 this is again a horizontal way of writing addition now how we will do it yes first we will open seven fingers students always keep remember that we have to subtract always big smaller number from the bigger number right so we will open seven fingers then close three fingers after that we will count the remaining fingers so in this we Uh, the number of remaining fingers will be 4 right so answer will be 4 now let's do vertical addition students as you can see here numbers are written in standing line order right so this is a vertical way of doing addition let's do it now we have to subtract 1 from 5 that is 5 minus 1 how we will do it yes we will open first we will open five fingers right in this way then how many fingers we will close one right so we will close one fingers so how many fingers are open now yes four right so four will be the answer so in this way we can do addition on vertically and horizontally let's do some story sums now students while doing story sums on subtraction always keep remember that how many are left how many remain comes in the story sums it means that we have to do subtract we have to do the subtraction of the numbers given in the story sums Let's take some story sum. The first step of doing a story sum is to read the story sum carefully and understand what the information given and what to find out, right? So let's start. First we will read the story sum. So here Sam has 9 eggs. 6 of them are broken. How many eggs are left? So Sam has nine eggs. This is information nine eggs, right? So here you can count. There are nine eggs. Six of them are broken. So I have crossed six eggs, right? 
how many eggs are left so let's count the remaining eggs one two three three eggs are left so students here you can see in the statement there is left word how many eggs are left so it means in this we will do subtraction right so how we will write it we will write total number of eggs first nine then just below nine we will write six right six of them are broken then we will put the sign of subtraction that is minus nine minus six is yes three right so number of remaining and the number of remaining eggs are three you can count from here one two three right so nine minus six is three let's take one more example let's read the story some first tom has six balloons two of them burst out how many balloons are left so in this story sum what is the information given yes six balloons right so here you can see there are six balloons two of them are burst out two of them are burst crowd so i have crossed two balloons right now how many balloons are left students how many balloons are left left means what we have to do we have to do subtraction so we will subtract two from six right count the remaining balloons 1 2 3 4 right so answer is 4 right four balloons are left students in this way you can do the uh, some story sums of subtraction i hope this is clear to you thank you have a nice day